what's up what's up what's up guys how are you doing today welcome back to my channel and today i will be showing y'all how i got this look how i achieved this look yep this look <laughs> so today we'll be playing around with some makeup it's a more upgraded um video from the first one that i did from the first look so stay tuned i'm gonna show you how i achieve this look and the techniques that i use in achieving this look also yes guys so the first thing i'm gonna show y'all how to do is draw your brows so if y'all remember from the first video i actually outlined like how i got my brows done how i did them and everything if you are a subscriber of my channel then you remember that first video that i did i was given more details of how to get your brows together so in this one i decided to just go along and do what i'm doing right in front of y'all so you can see how i achieved this look So the next step that I will be doing is to conceal my eyebrows. So I'm using the Pro Concealer and I am just concealing your eyebrow is roughly just like cleaning up all those edges, like the edges from the pencil, you know, shaping, getting your brows together neatly, nicely. That's basically what you're doing and be sure to have um, a concealer brush when you do this it's a flat sometimes pointed brush that we use to conceal and just clear not clean up that area and if you're gonna do like your lids then you want to base that lid so in the t meantime that you're um doing your brows that you're highlighting or concealing your brows you can just do your lids as well you know as we would have said in Jamaica, use one stone and kill two birds. <laughs> right true, of course. So this part guy is guys is very 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 important always remember to blend like in every step that you do always remember to blend and always remember to set you don't want your um, makeup to be you know um, lumpy or cakey or all over the place so always remember to set and always remember 
to blend and right here i'm applying my base color i think the base color that i'm using was purple no it's burgundy i'm sorry <laughs> yeah so most people go with white base color or they might go with a nude base color but it all depends on the look that you're trying to get so i decided to go with a burgundy base color yes guys and then the next step that we'll be doing we'll be doing a cut crease so a lot of people are most like 80 percent of people they just do a regular makeup with a regular eyeshadow and that's it because what it's easier it's quicker and everything but for some people that really 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 loves makeup they might want to do a cut, cut crease and if you'll be playing with your shadows like different colors on your lids and stuff you are gonna need to cut your crease yeah because it gives you a better pop it brings up the colors more it it transitions better everything is better when you do a cut crease trust me and no i am not a makeup artist i am just a lover i am a lover of makeup i am very passionate about beauty so that's who i am and remember i told y'all setting is very very important so i am using a translucent setting powder Be why i chose a translucent is because it's very loose it's not as thick as the other setting powders so my first color or the first color that i will be adding to my lid is a black shade And I'm going in with a bright green and just look at the transition look at magic colors are magical it's called playing with makeup you don't have to be a makeup artist you don't have to know mm, shit about makeup <laughs> you just have to you have to be a lover of colors and try new stuff so mm, that's just it and always remember blend you want to blend you don't want to have like straight lines when you are changing colors you want it to like a smooth transition from one color to the next so that too is very very important So next, I will be going into the crease of my eyes with some gold. You know, gold make everything look nice, shiny, and glittery. So. Just trust the process guys once you know of a mix and match and put the thing together you cannot go wrong there is no wrong in doing makeup there's no wrong especially in your eyeshadow they can be no wrong you can always fix 
you can always I like you can always even wipe it off and do it all over again so yep so you know that liquid liner always do justice that liquid liner you see when you do your eyelids when you color your eyelids and you line it with your liquid liner and worse if you're a person that like wings and you extend that wing the wing can be very large if you like you can just line it very small very light very simple if you like it all depends on how you like it but in this video i'm just extending my wing a little bit not too much nothing too extra nothing too big and excessive just a little bit of wing <laughs> so that wing when you put your lashes on then it have a very pretty look i don't know about you but i love to see it with your when you put your lashes on and you have that little wing there with your lashes you just get a very super pop it's a glam trust the process guys So I'm going into my crease right here with a little glitter. It is a liquid glitter, guys. So that's just a little bit more touch. Just adding a little more touch to it. So I'm just adding some liquid li glitter right into the crease of my eyelid. And just look at how it all comes together beautifully. As I told you all before, you don't need to be perfect at this just do your thing just trust the process and trust you and what you like and what works better for you and you have it trust me you master it you will I'm not gonna lie guys I don't do these looks every day no I don't because I just like to just get things done over with I can deal with all this this look took me like about an hour to get done I am not doing that on a regular day if I'm gonna get my face done or get a face beat I very simple one one shadow one color shadow my foundation and probably some lashes because I love my lashes and that's it but today I decided to do something a little bit extra for y'all and it was a requested video too yes it was a requested video because I have friends that loves makeup but they just don't know like how to do it like how to do the especially eyeshadows so you can look out for more videos of me showing you how to get your um eyeshadows together i sh i will be doing more videos like this so just stay tuned to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for this is the opportunity this is the time that you need to hit that subscription button yeah because girl are going with ourselves right through so next step guys you know it's time to apply my lashes and i am using a bonding glue i'm not using a lash glue i'm using a bonding glue on my lashes and that's what i'll be using to apply the lash
so at this point i'm almost done with my eyes so now it's time to conceal under my eyes so i am using the pro concealer to conceal an eye light under my eyes basically what i am doing is just cleaning up that area um you know make a sharp line on my wings and just to give it a brighter look underneath your eyes basically that's what i am doing right now And now it is time to apply my foundation and I am using the Fenty Beauty foundation and my foundation applicator brush yeah and you see that it's not a very heavy foundation and it is full coverage very nice foundation I, I absolutely love this foundation this is my favorite right now until i find another favorite because <laughs> because i change favorites all the time you know but this one is my go-to foundation right now so you can try to if you like the look that this foundation gives feel free to try it All right, about now we are going into contouring. So the first thing I am going to do is to highlight my nose. I am still using that Pro Concealer to draw those straight lines. You know, we have broad nose, so we want that little straight, shiny nose. You know, the little white people nose there. So yeah, that's how you achieve that nose. Just look at what I am doing. <laughs> And you will see how we achieve the nose of our dreams.
so next i'm going in with my contour stick and i'm just gonna do like that outer bridge under my nose and then i'm gonna blend it in uh blending it together and i'm also gonna use a contour stick to do my cheek area and my forehead And do remember that the key thing in everything that you do in each step is blending. Always remember to blend every step, every different each step that you go to. Always remember to blend. You don't want to leave like straight lines in your face. You want to get everything evenly blended out. So yes, guys, always remember to blend. It is very, very, very important. almost done guys the next thing that i am doing i am using my black eyeliner pencil just to darken or give that smoky look under my eyes under my eyelids yes Yes, so this segment is called the highlights. <laughs> the reason why I call it the highlights is because I will be using my highlighting powder from Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to highlight my nose. I'm just doing like those extra touch up. So I'm highlighting my nose, my cheek, my over my eyes, you know, all those extra places that I need to be popping i am just highlighting and blending all at the same time so those are like your finishing touches things that you um want to get done or you want to do before you add that lipstick do you want to put those final touches and blend wherever it's looking too light or uh, that you don't want to look too light and wherever it's looking too dark you just want to get that all together so yes i call this segment the highlighting And the next step is your lips but what i do before i put anything on my lip i use my wipes those that's my makeup wipes to wipe anything that might be on my lip from um, makeup from doing my face and whatever is on my lip i just use that to wipe it off so i don't have anything on my lips so when the the lipstick goes on it actually looks very smooth so the first thing that i am doing to my lip i am aligning i am lining my lip with uh, a brown pencil So yeah, after I do that, then next I'll be going into my lip with this very beautiful color. It is very nice. I got this um this color from Watch Chrissy Work. Yeah. And you just want to evenly, you know, distribute that all over your lip. So 
yeah look at that look at that cute combination mm -hmm. and then i will just be going in with my finishing powder you know always adding an extra finish touch so after i remove my bonnet you know that area where the bonnet was i just want to go back up there with like my foundation brush whatever areas did not get touched i am just adding those finishing touch that's all i'm doing right here if you like this look guys please let me know in the comment section like subscribe share the video tell your friends about the video i really do appreciate you guys watching my videos i really do appreciate your inputs all the comments that i've been getting i really do appreciate thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video girl look nice and so yeah girl and i did use my rose water setting spray off camera but i did not record that part <laughs> thank you guys see you in the next video bye